Bo Perez has never seen anything like what he has seen in the last few weeks. This is devastating. This is awful. Perez is with the Salvation Army and is providing emotional and spiritual support for victims of the Little Bear wildfire, which started June 4th. When people come here, um, I offer them a bottle of cold water and, and I listen to them. And while I'm listening, um, I'm looking uh, to see for signs of distress. This is all that's left in this community. Nothing but debris and the smell of burnt metal and rubber as crews continue to work to contain this wildfire. Hundreds of volunteers are helping people get back on their feet. Utility crews are working hard to restore power. It brings tears to your eyes, you know, when you see the devastation of the beauty that's been here. We've been coming to Rio Dosa for 50 years. Although her house was spared, others weren't so lucky. The wildfire destroyed many homes and businesses along its path. We're grateful to God for the beauty that's still left up here, and we're grateful that no lives were lost. That is amazing, this much destruction and no lives. And we're so grateful to all the people, the firemen and uh, volunteers from all over the country who have come here, not just to fight the fire, but to help those who've been affected by the fire. Firefighters are still working to put out the blaze. Currently, the Little Bear wildfire is close to being fully contained. For KRWG, I'm Katie Fagan.